Hi guys and welcome, my name is Chris and this is Brain of Shadow Legends. Um, so in this video we're just going to be talking about Arena. Uh, so one of the things when you're starting the game, when you're leveling up, so we're level 27 at the minute, so we've been doing a bit of grinding and campaign. Um, but just one another thing to take into consideration is Arena. Um, so Arena is vital to progression in this game because when we we have our tokens up here, these are our arena tokens. We get the maximum we can get is ten. Uh, even with refills, we can't go above this amount of ten. Um, so, so we can only do ten at a time. Um, let's head over to the arena. Um, so we have had a few battles in this. First thing you're gonna want to do, you're gonna need to do when you enter the arena is say you're a defensive team, and we've just uh, selected the champions that we've got. Um, if you click on any of these icons, the screen comes up, and these are your, you can put whatever champions you want in here to be your defensive team. Um, and what your defensive team is, um, is just, this is your player team, so whenever another player goes onto the arena, and, they, uh, and you come up on their list, they will see this team that you have here, and they'll be able to fight against this team. Uh, so we're just going to put, probably uh, like these guys, probably our strongest ones at the minute. Um, and that's set. So once that's set, we can go into battle. So this is the battle screen. Um, so let's give that a refresh. Uh, so this is going to show a list of uh, teams that we can fight against. Um, let's just... So... so uh, within these lists, usually, especially at, like the lower tiers, you're gonna see these ones with like single champions in the, in there. Uh, these are like easy snipe kills. So if you're starting off an arena and you don't really have, you haven't really built up your team that that much, um, so we could probably like take out one like this or one like this. Um, we won't be able to take these out. These guys are way too strong. Um, let's just go in here for now. So it's one token to have a battle. Um, and again, we can just swap our team out to whoever whoever we want. Um, who am I going to put in there? I'm going to stick. I'm going to put in... I don't really have many, many options at the minute. Uh, okay, let's, let's go with him. Actually, no, let's go with her. Okay. And... Uh, so this is our team power, which is listed here with 16,933. And this is the enemy's team power, 2,731. Obviously, theirs is going to be lower because they've only got one champion in there. Um, you just need to be aware that that is a four-star champion with three-star ascension. So sometimes it might be a bit deceiving. Um, a lower power doesn't always necessarily mean they're a, a, you know, a cakewalk. Let's go in there. <coughs> And this is set up. Uh, so we've got all our champions, same as uh, like normal campaigns. You got your skills there, your auto battles, your times two, and then the enemy champion there. Uh, so we're just going to be able to finish this champion off relatively quickly. Okay, so this gives us one brom bronze emblem and eleven uh, arena points. Um, so we have our points bar here. And we're 916 out of 1,000. And we have our tier bonus as well. So currently we're in bronze tier 1. So let's come out of this. Uh, to get to tier 2, we need to fill up that bar. So we need to get to 1,000 points and then we move into tier 2. Um, so we can do a few more of these. I think there's a few low, lower levels here that we should be able to take out yes these ones, these ones are nice and nice and easy An attack buff and then just take these guys out so I said we're getting more points up um, we got 10 points for that win, and uh, obviously if we lose, we also get 
um, our points go back down, so we're like probably minus 10 or 11. Um, taking us taking us down, and that can also derank you in tiers as well. Um, every 15 minutes, I believe, you can get a free refresh. So never waste your gems on this unless you're, you know, going for some super ranking uh, phase. It's not necessary. Save your gems. It's not worth using them on this. You get a free re refresh every so often, which then that refresh one becomes available and you get a whole new selection. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't waste your gems on that. Uh, there's Every a battle. Arena battle you do. Uh, there's a battle log, uh, just to show you, you know, what's occurred. These are all our uh, defensive teams. We've just been defeated on all of these, and these are the teams that have defeated us. As you can see there, and this gives us like our minus points, and then we can go to the attack ones and see what teams we've defeated. And again, it gives you how many points we've gained from that. Um, so we've done battle, we've done battle log, we've done defense, and now there's tiers. Oh, go away. Um, so yeah, like she said, this this tab shows all the tiers in the arena. Shows you all the bonus uh, tier bonuses as well. And uh, every week, the arena ends. And according to what uh, tier you're in, you get a chest reward. Currently we're on bronze tier chest. I think these are all bronze, bronze tier chest, and they go up silver uh, into gold, and then platinum, which is the final one. Um, but yeah, these bonuses are nice. Look, I mean, like if you can get to platinum arena, that's an extra five percent on top of your twenty percent, twenty five percent increase in HP, attack, and defense is pretty big. Uh, so that's really nice and this uh, this symbol here shows you how many emblems you get per win um, Yeah, and then it goes up to these so the top ranking one you can get five gold emblems per win in platinum uh, Which is really nice and emblems are really important you can see at the top here We've got like a little emblem screen. We've got bronze silver gold um, and platinum gives you gold as well. Uh, so we'll go into what those do in just a second, and let's just check out our top players. Um, and this is just going to show you the top 100 players currently in the game. This is all the platinum people in platinum. Um, this it just shows you what team team setups they've got, what their arena points are. Uh, if you wanted any uh, kind of like guide, if you were going for like the top tiers, you wanted to. Check out some teams to see what are like best suited. Um, there are some champions that stick out or in, that are in a lot of these teams. Um, yeah, just in case you're curious about that. Um, so that is Arena. Um, so with our uh, tokens that we've gained, we can spend them in the Great, great Hall. So as well as the bonus for your arena position as well, this is also uh, the Great Hall where you can increase your stats throughout your throughout your champions in the whole game. Um, so there's currently our champ uh, champion bonuses from our arena. It's got a little stat sheet there as well. Um, if we click on one of these, uh, so these are all like the affinities. This is all the magic all across the top. Then we've got spirit, then we've got force, then we've got void. Um, and at the top, you can see these all do HP, these all do attack, these all do defense, crit damage, resist, and accuracy. Um, so we're going to be wanting to do some accuracy. Because uh, we've got Kale, he places poisons. Accuracy is probably our best thing to go for um, at the start of the game. Because in Increases our chance to apply that accuracy. Um, so we need 50 bronze emblems to get our first level, which we are nowhere near. <laughs> um, so this is just something you need to do daily to increase that to be able to get these permanent stat bonuses to your for your team, which is so beneficial in the long run. Um, 
you know, you can get plus 80 accuracy on that. And then you can get that across all affinities. It's really nice. Uh, it just costs a load of emblems. Um, and they also, uh, Arena also ties in with your with your daily quests. Uh, so we haven't finished this, but one of our daily quests is fighting the arena five times, and then we get a free energy refill. And our battle pass, uh, one of the daily challenges today, is win arena battles using at least one force champion. So we haven't done that yet. So we should have looked at that before we went into there. So we need to win three battles uh, with that. And let me just check this as well. Okay, so we just need to win three battles. And then we're good. We get both of our daily rewards. So let's just select some battles. Now we need to change our team. Let's just take someone out and put a horse champion in. Let's go with this guy. And we're just going to run these like fairly quickly. Hopefully we're going to be able to kill these guys. Leave it on auto. Nice, quick, easy win. Uh, we should be able to fa find some more battles like that, hopefully. So we can get these done. It'd be pretty embarrassing if we don't. Um, there are some harder ones here. So let's see if we can take these guys out. Let's go for these guys. This one's going to be slightly harder. You can see their team powers creeping up towards ours. But we still got an advantage, so we might be able to, uh, to get through this one. Hopefully they won't do enough damage to us. Yeah, we could. Just also it from here. Okay, brilliant. Um, like I said, you can go through the list, but the best thing to do with these is kind of like wait for your wait for your uh, picks. Kind of like have a few battles, see where you stand, and kind of get an idea, a rough idea of what teams you can take out. And then once you've done that, you can kind of like select different teams, uh, take them out, and then wait, wait for your refresh. As soon as that refresh is up, refresh that page. And then pick out some other teams that you know you can definitely win and that's a way of like creeping up the tier list and always keep refreshing your defense champions so they're the strongest ones you've got and that should hold you at that position for for a little while at least um yeah that means we can complete some of our battle pass requirements and also complete one of our dailies uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, it's another thing about you know starting the game. Um, wh while you're focusing on this campaign, you kind of want to be dipping into the arena as well to start kind of gaining emblems. And also, it's going to be part of completing your daily quests and also now part of your battle pass. So definitely worth going into there. Uh, just meeting your requirements. Always check battle pass to see what the requirement is. Yeah, you know, that one we need at least one force champion in our team. So always go and check that first to make sure you're hitting them requirements. Um, and yeah, that's it for Arena. Um, I think in the next video we're just gonna go over Clan Boss. Um, yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next video. If any of this, if you got this far in this video and it helped you out in any way, then please click that like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.